And our health alert tonight, did you overindulge during the holidays? If so, you may be one of the many adults trying dry January and avoid any alcohol for the first month of the year. Tough to do. Well, Heather Catalo joins us right now with a look at whether this can actually help your health. Heather. Well, a lot of people are trying dry January this year, and according to doctors at the Cleveland Clinic, going dry can decrease liver inflammation that's caused by alcohol. When they stop drinking, even if it's a month, this inflammation heals. It's like you're giving that wound a little bit of time to heal itself. It may not heal all the way back if you have been drinking a lot before. Dr. Jamil Joaquin Fleming points out those who have a history of heavy drinking often suffer from scarring of the liver, at which point the damage cannot be reversed by going dry. She says a recent study shows more adults are engaging in binge drinking now than ever before, especially women over the age of 40. Binge drinking is defined as drinking more than five drinks in one sitting for men and more than four drinks for women. Dr. Joaquin Fleming says it's wise to create a budget for alcohol use each year, the same way you would budget your finances. Take a look at your year ahead and consider how often you're drinking and how much, especially if you anticipate more social events like weddings. And as far as a dry January goes, Dr. Joaquin Fleming says going for longer periods, such as three to six months without alcohol, is a better bet for seeing liver recovery. If you stop for the month, and it's good to stop, they take a holiday, dry January, because they drank during the holidays and now they're going to give their body a rest. That is awesome. That's very good compared to somebody who did not stop in January, right? But we would like to see that there is more, like the dry month could be maybe dry three months or dry six months. Dr. Joaquin Fleming says, of course, it's best not to drink alcohol at all, especially if you have liver disease. But if you decide to go back to drinking after a dry spell, consider lowering the amount. Amira. All right, Heather, thank you for that.